Right, let's move on to east of the river, East London, Bay Tees. Okay, so went on their podcast, in fact, coming out soon. I had to be real with them. This season, it's not looking it. They're out of the London Cup that they won last season. Mm? That one there, all the waves. Oh! Oh my days, man! Yes, I am blaming. I am blaming you. You're blaming me. Yes, I am blaming, blaming me. Hey, put that camera down. At the National Cup that he won a couple of seasons ago. Chops it back. Warren shoots yes. deflected by Ola. They're eleven. They've only gone and scored. Oh. Gio just loses out there, and he's lost his head. Straight red for Gio. And that is time. Oh my goodness. The holders, Betty's, are now out of the London Cup. Fourth or fifth in the league. In a six-team league, by the way, which is poor. Essex Corinthian League. I don't know what's going on there. But it's not looking good. It's not looking good, Bev. It's not looking good. <laughs> Talk to me. What's your thoughts? Commitment. I had this conversation with Imid at the recent tournament, mm. it's like, I said to him, I know we used to watch you lot a couple of years ago, it was entertaining, do you know what I'm saying? And like I said, in my personal opinion, they now, the team they have now, they have too many similar players, mm. and in my opinion, players playing in the wrong positions. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Well, so, like Imid, is Imed, he a 10? He is with the right team around him. Obviously, today you got the 10 shirt. Yeah, that's my armpit. shirt. Mm -hmm. So all this propaganda, all this, oh, uh, 10's 10, done. I was in it, oh, let's do it for banter, oh, content, done. Serious mode now, innit? Binds. And then now you've got the 10 shirt, are you going to be playing 10? Or are you going to be playing 4? Wherever I play, I can be playing in goal, still wear the 10 shirt. He is, but I just feel like where he hasn't got the right players around him now, it's a lot more pressure on him. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? To deliver. Mm. Do you get it? Where two, three years ago, no one's going to dispute whether Imed's a 10 or not. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Because of the players that he had around him. Mm -hmm. So for me, yeah, Imed could be a 10. Imed could be an 8. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you could even put him as a right wing forward. That's what I put Do you get what I'm saying to you? I like, think that's his best position. Like, you could put him there. But again, it depends what players you've got. So it's just... Things like I say, they're a Sunday league club. They've had good managers, Billy and this next guy that's come in, he's good as well. But I just feel like he's imposing too much of semi-pro professional football. At Sunday league. At Sunday league, mm. do you understand? And I just feel like Beatty's content now is more controversial decisions than it is about the football. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying to you? The Imad getting Bench. benched. Yeah. Two holding midfielders today is Musa Brandy with Malachi in front. Um, Obi left, Yassin right, Bruno up front to start with, okay? We've got seven teams in this league, including us. So we've got 11 games including today. So that's not a lot of games, boys, yeah? So we need to put things right today, yeah? Let's go, come on, come on. Oh, that's on the Like. These are hot topics where that's going to take over the football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Like, so I just feel like... Do you ever bench your captain? Like, you've got a player like Imid, do you ever bench a, a player like that? I know sometimes you're trying to stump your authority and say, look, you can't be turning up late or you can't be doing this and that's the reason why you're benched. But if you've got a player like Wonderboy in your team, captain, do you bench him? Yeah, but again, if... if from what I see from the content, Imid don't turn up late, maybe I've missed content, I don't know, but he don't turn up late. He's mm. normally on the camera, this is that next, mm. saying to people, oh, you're late, you're supposed to be at this time. So I don't believe anything, any of that's happening. I just feel like where he wasn't playing up to the standard that the manager or the club or everyone believes that he could play at, mm. he got dropped for that. But, and then what made it worse, I heard he didn't have a conversation. There was no conversation about it. He just turned up and He's been dropped. As captain, of course, no surprise. You started the first game against Blood Athletic. You lost that game 2-0. In the second game, you didn't start. How do you feel about that? I didn't know. Didn't receive no messages, didn't receive no texts, didn't have a conversation. It was a decision that's not normal to me, if that makes sense. I don't like the bench. I don't, I'm not a bench player, and the conversation wasn't had, so yeah, I took it 
a type of way. Everyone's got their opinions on it. Tommy the gaffer at the end of the day, he made his decision. He's got an opinion on it. I've got my own opinion on it. But we'd obviously express them opinions in different ways. That's it. Do you get what I'm saying? And then there's like little jokes about his shirt number 10. And yeah. What people fail to realise is, is that if you have a passion for something that you do, yeah. like being with Beatties for so long and that, these little things will get underneath your skin. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you? Yeah, yeah. It makes you feel like you're not, am I a gimmick now? I've been here so long and, mm. do you get what I'm saying? Even though it's content, but you wouldn't see the Dons if they rest their skipper, they're not going to make a joke out of it. Oh, good luck. Good luck resting Big G, you know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah, but yeah. No, but even if they did, yeah. they wouldn't make a joke of it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, Big G will come out and say, well, this keeper's been playing better than me or he deserves his shot. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Like that. It ain't, oh, this man's going to take his shirt. And but is that because of his persona, innit? Most hated. Is that the reason why they've done it? Do you know what I'm saying? It's a bit different to Big G. I hear what you're saying, but at the same time, it's like, OK, he's got to play up to the role of most hated. It's been dropped. I don't know, Beatty's is, is different, similar, different to... Uh, no, but I'm saying that, that the outcome is going to be the same. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Yeah. So whether you're different or not, I'm just saying, for me, all of that stuff now and the conversations that they're having before the football is more entertaining than the football. OK. Do you get what I'm saying to you? OK, OK. Do you get what I'm saying? So yeah. it's come to the point now where you're sitting there and be like, and you're right. They come to the point where you're looking at Beatty's now and I'm like, oh, that's only going to be a dead league game. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, it's not going to be a top quality game now because they're out of everything. Yeah. Do you get it? And yeah. it's not nothing like me disrespecting them as players or people. It's just what it's, what it's come to now. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So what do you think it's down to? Like, do you think it's down to the manager or do you think it's down to the players or lack of players? Because like, Joss Asude not being there, big loss. Ruben Jr. not being there, big loss. Obviously, he's contracted now. So do you think it's down to that or do you think it's just down to the manager's second season sy syndrome because they won pretty much everything last season and then this season they're pretty much out of everything. Do you know what I'm going to say, yeah? It's, it's a collective thing, bro. It's been up through the whole season, season, bro. It has right been. the whole season. Midfield has been weak. If you don't want to be here, f Big man thing. I'm not playing. Man, I'm put money in this Man, I've been in trouble for this I've had beef over this You think it's a joke? You think it's a joke? Man, I'm going to start this thing. I've fallen out with people over this thing. You think I care about losing the game? The whole f***ing season. The whole season. But we ask for little things, bro. Be committed. Communicate. Be here on fucking time. Be here on time. If you got paid on a Monday, would you be late? No. Saturday's after. I think it's a bit of both. Yeah. I think it's like a bit of everything mixed together to make one big pie to be like, all right, cool. Beatties need a revamp. Yeah. Do you get it? Whether it's players, whether it's the manager, or whether it's they all need to sit down and get back on the same vision, I don't know, but it's not looking good for them, for real. Yeah, it's not looking good, bruv, at all, man. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below what's going on at the ATs, man.